Greetings, I am Flat Cat Man, and welcome back to On the Cans Thursday. I'm sorry if I peaked the mic, I really am. Let's just hop into it, shall we? With, um. Veggie Broth. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Don't scroll back, you dingle. Veggie Broth. Oh, God. You see, Veggie Broth was formulated in 1844 when. Oops. Okay. Formulated in 1844 when Cheese's production facility broke down right before a charity ball. Forcing John Cheese, one, the first, to think on his feet. He threw a few fresh veggies and some expired chemicals into a nearby pot. Ugh. And the rest is history. It was reinstated as a modern flavor in 2013 upon John Cheese the Third's return. Cheese veggie broth might look traditional, but don't let their label fool you. They're up for new experiences and love being the loudest one at the party. They've got more stories than they can count, and some of them are actually interesting. <laughs> If you're ever the healthy, well-traveled partner, she's veggie broth is one for you. Ah. Talking so much it hurts my throat. Love, carrots, broccoli, morphine. <laughs> that makes sense. It's fruits and fruit-based products. Okay. Ah, my throat. What's your favorite vegetable? Mine's the aubergine. The what? I'm gonna go with mm -hmm. onion. Oh. That's an yeah. I, actually, <laughs> I like onions a lot. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Shit. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -mm. What? <laughs> oh. mm. Sorry. Shit. That was horrible. Oh yes. You're making me froth. Mm. I thought I said taco grease. <laughs> She's Taro Teas was... Oh, it's like Japan. Taro Teas was exclusively released in Japan in 2014 as part of a marketing campaign for, mo for momentary sensation. Idol Naughty Doll. Toro, a self-proclaimed lover of taro bubble tea. The highly eroticized publicity stunt attracted the attention of conservative Western audiences and made calls to sabotage the brand's products. She's heads, however, responded by further strengthening their support of the company. She's Taro Tea's playful charms will make you blush. Every single one of their moves is, prof is profoundly erotic. They have a serious aura, though if you manage to get close to them, you may discover that, if, that it merely conceals their vulnerable side. They have been hurt many times before, but only because they love too intensely. Loves, lace, bubble tea, shibari, fairy lights. Hey, it's Facebook, kink shaming. <laughs> long movies, cold feet. You hate long movies. Well, don't get, don't watch Titanic then. Oh my god. Oh god. It's literally like bondage. There's actually a name for that specific, like, style. I don't know. It is. Why's my score going down? I'm hitting them. Jelly Bean. She's Jelly Bean was developed in 1983, following the years of John She's third, the third success in the business world. He wanted to branch out and formulate this special limited time flavor as a way to connect with high-ranking politicians of the time. It was pulled from shelves a few years later, following a lawsuit from a popular Jelly Bean manufacturer. She's Jelly Bean is the strong and silent type who prefers to let their flavor do the talking. They might not have a lot to say, but they'll always show you a good time. Loves. Existentialism? I don't know. T 
tea, plants, listening. Hey, it's loud party, chocolate, trickle down, economics. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, I was expecting that. Mm. What, is it just grunts? Mm. I think it is, yeah. Mm. Shit. Shit. Mm, missing up. Extremely <laughs> disturbing grunt. Yeah. It's definitely the funniest one, I will say that. Oh my god, my scores. I got like one gold gem in there. I don't really care. She's Cheeky Bit of Poot? Is this like British? She's Cheeky Bit of Poot was Pud. Cheeky Bit of Pud? I don't know. Was John She's the Third's first and only venture into holiday themed drink. Yeah, no idea it would be a mistake. <laughs> Cheese Cheeky Bit Pud ruined the 2015 holiday season when the public loved it so much they couldn't eat their holiday dinners because they drank too much cheese. Cheeky Bit of Pud, it was, was that Pud or like, oh like pudding, like so Pud, I don't know. It was pulled from shelves the following January but Mary's had it pop on the black market. There's always room for a Cheeky Bit of for a Cheeky Bit Pud. Okay, it kind of reminds me of like Sprite Cranberry, which I'm guessing is kind of what they based it on. For like a holiday soda. Loves presents, custard, brandy cream, Christmas, hates any other holiday food, New Year's parties, she's tiramisu. Oh man, didn't we do that one? Yeah, wow. Damn. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, thank god we're almost over with this. Okay. Do you want a bit of brandy cream, or do you want a bit of custard? It is like Sprite Cranberry. You want a bit of scrap cranberry? Oh. Oh. God, I got an E on that one actually. Nice. Why? <sighs> she's continued to use the she's brand name throughout the 2000s. I don't know. Producing various ill-fated products. She's mustard was heavily marketed to Eastern Bloc countries such as Bulgaria, Albania, and Romania. Remember that John Cena III burned down a Romanian corn shop when he saw the drink for the first time? Are totally unsubstantiated. Substantiated. Cheese mustard is a tart and tangy low drink that will add some much needed spice to your life. You may have found them overpowering, but if you can but if you can add on them, you're in for one of the most exciting experiences of your life. Yeah, it's mustard flavored. It's like ketchup flavored chips, it's just weird. Love, sandwiches, sausages, hot dogs, burgers, role play, knife play. Hey, 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 hey. Oh god, being spread hates being spread to team. Bland food, cheese, original mustard, it's bland as it is. It's just gross. I hate You mustard. wanna taste me, don't you? I I actually would not, no. And, and for the love of God, uh, don't make uh, me. Uh, I'm have ketchup flavor, so I'm also uh, mustard. At least I like ketchup. Uh, I hate mustard. Got out with the beer with that. I don't know why. It's just not oh good. I hate it. Nah. Can, can this just be a horror game, please? That's all I will ask you. Oh, mayonnaise. Oh, guys, it all just gonna be condiments. See, this this intrigues me, though. Please don't neglect this. 
that gives me a feeling like there's more to this game than just like this. There's like secrets. And I'm kind of thinking this, you have to get everyone E. That's what I'm thinking. To like unlock it. And I will. If I'm going to get anything out of this game, I'm going to get that. Man, okay. After the terrible sales of cheese, pineapple pizza, and cheese raw meat, the rush and cheese, if you decide to dial it back on the odd flavors and this would attempt to keep hold of the direction of the company, they launched one last kind of inspired formula. The dozen lemon cheese mayonnaise was the last of the ill advised flavors brought to the cheese shelves before Jud. <laughs> oh god, excuse me. <laughs> the bubbles showed up before John sees the third triumphant return. They are not, you always find cheese, mayonnaise, grinding away at the gym. What? The one thing they love more than checking themselves out in the steamed up mirror in front of the lake press in is a sweet, attentive partner to cuddle and watch movies with. They may be known for bench pressing a man with their face. Wait, what face? <laughs> but beneath their well defined pectorals, there's a tender heart. Loves egg whites, I can agree. Leg day, I don't know. The smell of popcorn, okay, cool. Industrial check now, I don't know. Hates, she's tangy ketchup. Oh, there is a ketchup flavor. Tangy, though. God. Any ketchup. Damn towels. Pulling a muscle. Baggy clothes. Well, tight. Beats too. Oh god. That's all Russia, isn't it? <laughs> 1999 Russian bootleg company Sheets put their own spin on the market of carbonated drinks. Inspired by a family recipe, Sheets Cold Beat Stew became a major hit in the Eastern European market. John Sheets III, with a visible wince of disgust, described the drink as coarse, but Sheets Cold Beat Stew would, in the time, allow Sheets directives to take hold of his company. Jeez, Cold Beat Sue is a demanding lover. Try as you might to impress them, it will not happen. So they have a weirdly irresistible know-how, semblance, and don't beat around the bush when it comes to rough play. A few rounds of them will be enough to create memories to last for a lifetime, for better or for worse. Loves, Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica, Beyonce, Hates, Mono Monogamy, Monogamy, am I saying that right? I don't know. Curry, Capitalism. Let's get this over with. I don't have high hopes for you, but prove me wrong. Wow. She has a cigarette. Beat me. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Da. Mm. Oh. Beat me. Da. Oh. Sorry. Oh, God. She's going to be hard, Beat isn't she? Me. Da. If I need to get all, like, ease on mm. every can to unlock da. the last one, then I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, beat me. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Well, it was marginally better than my husband. <laughs> wow, you're just cold inside, aren't you? I don't know, because then it won't be refreshing. Four cheese. What the hell? Oh, God, my throat. I don't talk this much. Ah, she's four cheese with the first thing launch at the Russian company she's PJ PJSC acquired she's in 2001 and boldened by the relative success of their previous unique formulas cold beat stew and can't shy the nutrition of the company began with a series of controversial yet interesting new flavors she's four cheese was surprisingly well received in the north and English market and it became a traditional drink on plof plof Monday I don't know Cheese four cheese is a strong personality, but everybody enjoys them. Whether in small nibbles or gooey cascades, warm and outgoing, they have a way of m making everyone feel uncomfortable. Or feel comfortable. They should feel uncomfortable. 
around them and prefer to focus on the good and simple things in life. Their puns may be a bit tacky, but their guffaws are contagious. Loves puns. Char Charcucci board? Charcuti boards? I don't know. Come on, brothers. <laughs> That's actually not bad. And Rasselet parties? Rasselet? I don't know. Hey, it's running. Politics, mustaches, cynicism. Oh, hello. How are you doing? You must breathe the talk of the town. Oh, I really like that. He sounds like Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh, oh. To me. oh my. Better not stop. <laughs> oh, oh my. Better not stop. Talk curdy to me. Oh, I really like that. <laughs> Talk curdy to me. Oh. Better not stop. You can do better than that. <laughs> oh, I had an A there. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh you rock caught my world. You sound like a discount stupendium. Mmm. Thank you, ketchup. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. She did not learn the lesson from the ill fated mustard in 2004, as they formulated She's Tingy Ketchup five years later. While slightly more popular, it was still an abomination to mankind. She's Tingy Ketchup is still largely popular with people who barbecue in their backyard. She's Tingy Ketchup is a down to earth, cheeky chappy. They always know just what to say and where to go and know all the best spots in town that still have smoking areas. They're not the kind of soda you bring home to your parents, but they are the kind of soda that you would show at a good time to have them. In the backseat... Oh, God. Love, cigarettes, cars, bacon, horse races, bedding. Hate cheese, French vanilla, clean bathrooms. Meats. A lot of these, like, hate other cheese products, which is kind of weird. Well, hello. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna have to like keep hitting it. No shit. No. 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 Okay. Damn it! I. Mm. Pineapple pizza. Oh god. We only got a few more to go. Angel abused the She's Company name. She's pressed on their bizarre attempts to create fast food flavored soda well into the late 2000s, I guess. She's pineapple pizza was released in Europe and the America. And Amer into the. I can't speak. At least in Europe and the Americas to make success in 2008. One soda connoisseur called it the punchline to the joke that is the modern cheese line of sodas. Not everyone is a fan of cheese pineapple pizza, but those fans are loyal and always happy to. Oh god. Spend time with them. Oh god. An entertainer at heart, cheese pineapple pizza will do. <laughs> I'm just so. Ugh. It's a Whatever it takes to put a smile on your face. Cheese pineapple pizza is always clowning around, cracking jokes, and makes delicious cream pies. Love squeaky toys, laughter, dancing, throwing pies. Hates lines, tiny cars, acrobat cheese, tangy ketchup. Wow. I'm cool, man. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's Would you literally a pinkther? Or maybe a joke? It's literally a clown. Oh, oh, Sounds like goofy, and that makes me that makes me really uncomfortable. This pizza's about to get torn. Ow, my ears. Hey, oh, wait. 
She's raw me. I heard about you. She's raw me was one of the final nails in the coffin that spelled the end of the She's Corporation. That's for to try and capitalize on the recent health conscious crazes of that time. She attempted to produce a protein soda that would be marketed towards young to middle aged adults. Unfortunately, due to several mistranslations, She's raw me was not well to see because nobody wanted to drink something to sound like it would taste like raw meat. She's raw meat might look a bit unpleasant, but inside beats the heart of a passionate lover. If you can look past the less than stellar reputation they built for themselves, you might feel something special there. I doubt it. Love, steak, lamb, cottage pie, chicken, eggs, octopus rings. No. Hey, vegetables, emotional vul vulnerability, brand managers. Oh, God. Mm, oh, meaty. God. Oh, it moves. Why? Why does it move? Mm. Damn it. Medium rare mode. Uh. Why are you so slow? Meaty. Meaty. Mm. Uh. Mm. Meaty. Oh god. Meaty. This has to be my mm. ears. Does it? Does it really? Meaty. Mm. Mm. No, dear God, no, God, why does that exist? Sorry to surprise myself, Jesus. It's. <laughs> it's just a sardine. Is it just liquid on the inside? Oh, God. Fisheries. In 2017, John She's the Third announced that She's LLC would be diversifying the business into fishy submersibles and ocean exploration. Standing in Lime Magazine, the seas are a bountiful place. They have been more. They have been more. There have been more people on the surface of the moon than the bottom of the Maria Trench. That Mariana Trench. That is true, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. In my years traveling the world alone, I've learned much about what waits down in the abyss. What they left behind for us, and now with Mashi's fisheries, we shall bring it all to the surface for my son. It's literally can sardines. What do you want from me? Loves the ocean, hates the land. Short and sweet. I can appreciate that. Ugh. Come, matey. Time to play with me, Jolly Roger. Oh, no. Nah. It's a mix between, like, hilarious oh. and just very uncomfortable. Oh, 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 oh matey. Oh, yeah, laddie. Keep going. Get me hearty, matey. Oh, buckle. Keep going. Get me hearty. Oh, me ropes in. Oh, yeah, laddie. Oh, 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 matey. Oh, keep going. Oh, yeah, laddie. Get me hearty. Clear the deck. He says literally a can of sardines, so is that just all the, like, liquid from the can- Oh, that's gross, man. Alright. We have only two more. Factory rust. Oh. Oh, what a great flavor. Oh, god, even the can looks horrible. Late in 2019, investors in Sheez were shocked to learn that John Sheez III had been quietly selling off Sheez production facilities. All across the world to help fund a very important secret project. Due to the sudden lack of supply, the board was forced to reopen the old cheese factory in Russia. Eh. Regrettably, the dilapidated machinery could only produce one flavor rust. Cheese factory rust is a party animal, living every day like it's their last. They love to get down and dirty and aren't afraid of a little mess. Turns are kind of rough around the edges, but with enough where you can grind them down. Loves grime music, dirty talk, partying, the rain, urban exploration, hates, cleaning, being tied down, the quiet. Life? The quiet. Life. So not the quiet life, the quiet, and so he doesn't like life. Okay, was that a type? Yeah, first party in 30 years. I immediately failed. <laughs> Mmm. Uh. Mm. 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 Uh. Mm
right. <laughs> I can now die. He really, he really did hate life. Okay, so that wasn't a typo. That he legit hates life. Well done. You've experienced all there is to do at the She's Collection. I did. Please don't go searching for any more cans while you're here. Thirstborn. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. I knew this was a horror game. Finally, a purpose to this game. <laughs> she thirstborn is a long awaited result of the project S decades in the making. John sees the third sacrifice Sutter from his own collection, personal connections, millions of stolen shareholder dollars, and even his own life to build this prototype. Both can and human soul combined in one perfect organism. It was the first of many. She's thirstborn should be approached with caution. There will be consequences. Please reconsider. Loves the color of your eyes, the breeze through their hair, the warmth of lamps. The color of my eyes? Mine are green. Hates being trapped in an eternal, excruciating limbo between life and death. Is that you, Father? Father, you made me. The flesh and the can are hey, My eyes are green, actually. Oh, God. My insides fizz. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I feel the soul growing. Oh, yeah. I will be CEO. I feel stronger. Father. Mm. <laughs> I feel the soul growing. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Father. Uh, I feel stronger. I will be CEO. Yeah, you sure will. I feel stronger. Thank you for freeing me. No. The soul may move on, but the flesh shall grow. Are you proud of me, father? I couldn't be more disappointed that I made such an abo- I'm not your father, am I? Oh god, please don't let that be. Thank you for playing Only Cans, Thirst Date. We are incredibly sorry. <laughs> Good, thank you. You were a bunch of degenerates, so thank you for at least apologizing. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> at least they got something out of it. It was a horror game, or at least I thought there'd be like a dark twist to it. Baked edibles, what? Oh, these are like the songs. Uh. She's LLC is not responsible for any health issues caused by experiencing our product, including but not limited to heart attacks, loss of sanity, impotency, loss of limb, hair loss, eczema, death, heartbreak, heart removal, lung collapse, premature ejaculation, <coughs> aluminum liver syndrome, or canned laughter. If you experience an erection for longer than four hours after using this product, then what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh my god. It took me like one can to get through like two episodes. Live Mary of John, she's the fourth. Your time was cut short, but your life she lives on the cans of many. Huh. Is there any more? Maybe. Welcome to Only Cans, Thirst Date. Click here to experience cans. Let's check. Did I just restart? As I'm guessing. No? Weird. What is this?
Hans Team was brought to you by these extremely apologetic pedo. This is a song about subways <gasps> and nothing else. Get Stupendium? You made a song for this? Hey guys, are your lips dry? Any desiccated ladies try to get by? The best way for the girls and the boys to come together and enjoy a little moisture. So you're waiting on the mate that's one a million. In combination, ain't the way that you envision. You say you're strange, but baby, shed your inhibitions. Unless you taste it into something else. Elegant and eloquent and so effervescent. Subtle bubbles and must double feeling ever so. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god See no the pace side galleries, but none of those girls taste like raspberries. So if you think we're just some obscene cannery, all our cans are over 18 calories. So give us praise for flirtatious behavior. That come here, the hiss is what you came for. We've been brewing up a plethora of flavors. Say we're crude, you can never say we're tasteless. So if you drink it straight away, the mixer. Bring a Mr. R and Mrs. Home for dinner. Everybody's got a different fizzle in their spring. So what's the matter what the ingredients are on your stick? I have a mutual, but it's contextual. You're all impeccable, if it's consensual. If you ace them, they pan flexible. End of the day, we well, are rock and sexual. Yeah. Maybe fizzy, but I'll spit a little candor. Sure is sticky, but we'll lick the spell it. Oh, God, there's only one appetite can for Landra. Snap it with the candy, but you can the camera. Oh, can I can, can, can you the can or the can, the can or can the can, the can, the man, the can, the camera, ain't the news, grabbing noodles, ain't the noodles. Oh, my God, he's just using can. All that. Man, I that was awesome. I didn't think he made a song. I so, I so tried to him. How did I miss his, that song? Well, I'm kind of glad I did now, actually, because now I miss it. It's funny too, because I like I said to one of the can's voices, it sounded like a discount stupendium. But yeah, go check out Stupendium. Makes awesome music. He's a great writer too. That was awesome. Welcome to Only Cans. Thirsty. I'm actually not. Click here to experience cans. I'm actually not. I don't feel as bad that I played this now. <laughs> actually, I might actually try to put this on YouTube. <laughs> that was awesome though. Alright, well, um. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.